Welcome back to Thalia's Cakes and in this week's tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this resurrection themed cake step by step because death could not hold him. Amen? Amen. Alright. If you're new here and you just love cake decorating and baking, you might want to consider hitting that subscribe button or follow. All right, let's get started. To start this cake, I started off with making the cross because I needed the cross to have a little bit more time to dry up. Here, I mixed in some Tylos powder into the fondant. This is to help the fondant dry up a little quicker. So I rolled out the fondant and cut out a paper template of a cross and I used the knife to cut it out. And then using my knife, I gave it some wood texture. Moving on to the cake. I baked this cake in a dome-shaped pan and then leveled it with a serrated knife. If you need any of the following tools you see in this video, I will be leaving a link down below. Now I can begin to fill this cake. I'm going to place a little bit of buttercream onto the cake board. This is just to hold the cake onto the cake board. And now I can fill it with some buttercream using my offset spatula. Now I can place on my next cake layer, give it a crumb coat and pop it into the refrigerator for about 30 minutes to chill. Once it's done chilling, now I can give it a final coat of buttercream. Although I'm going to be piping green frosting around the cake, in certain areas it might show the actual cake, so I'm going to put a green base on it first. To smooth this cake, I'm using a piece of plastic that I cut out of a strawberry container, and it works very well, as you can see. I'm going to start from the very bottom and gently smooth up and then go all around. Now I can go ahead and start piping on the grass. To get this grass effect, I'm using a Wilton 234 piping tip. For the flowers, I rolled out five different fondant colors and then cut them out using these flower punchers. And then I just place them all over the hill. If you're enjoying this video so far, I would appreciate it if you would share this video with a friend or onto your social media. It would really help me out. Your girl is only a couple of more subscribers away from 3,000, okay? So help your girl out. I really appreciate it. I love you. All right, let's get back to the video. <laughs> I can now place on this cross at the very top of the hill. And then I'm going to place on a white cloth of fondant like this. I did have to place a kebab stick behind the cross because the cross started to lean back and I was like, nah, 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 nah. We're not doing that right now. So I put a kebab stick behind it and it stood up straight. So make sure to do so or else your cross is gonna be leaning back like that, Joe, all right? So obviously this looks horrible with the stick showing behind it. So I went ahead and covered it with some brown fondant and stuck it on with some water. So behind the scenes, I made this little conejo named Jackie. I just wanted to make this tutorial short as possible, so I did not record any of the footage. I'm sorry. And I also made Jackie una cartera con huevos inside. Oh, que cute. It's so cute, right? All right, let's get over it. Continue. Wow, que adorable. What better way than to celebrate Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ! I love you, God! Do you guys know that meme? No? Okay, whatever. Leave a comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. If you do give this cake tutorial a try, please tag me on my Instagram or Facebook because I would love to repost your work and share it with everyone else. If you enjoyed this video, please give your girl a thumbs up, okay? I deserve it. I 
come here every week with a new tutorial for you guys. Okay. And if you're new here, I am so sorry for my weirdness, but that's who I am, so I'm not sorry. Click over here to subscribe to my channel to continue to receive more fun, weird videos like these and like this. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. God bless. Jesus Christ! I love you, God! Jesus Christ!